Hey guys, in this video, let us learn about important angles in orthopedic diseases. So there is, these are the potential questions that you get in NEET PG and INISET. This PDF has the pearl which explains you the angles and the diseases as well as few images which are uh, having this potential to be asked in NEET PG and INISET. So this PDF will be provided for you in the Telegram channel, the links to which are provided in the description below. So if you are new to this channel, uh, I provide PDFs, uh, free notes as well as the mnemonic videos for the topics that you find difficulty in while your preparation. Let's get started now with today's topic which is uh, important angles in orthopedic diseases. Firstly, coming to this table which has all the angles and the diseases. So carrying angle, remember it as C is for cubitus varus and cubitus valgus. Whereas Bowman's angle is for elbow, remember like B A U and B O W. So you pronounce it similarly like elbow and Bowman's angle. And coming to Cobb's angle, it is C O is for scoliosis C O. Alpha beta angle is for D D H that is developmental dysplasia of hip. So remember it like alpha beta is for D A B C D. Alpha beta angles are for D that is developmental dysplasia of hip coming to south wick's angle which is for skipped capital femoral epiphysis so s and c are for s and c skipped capital femoral epiphysis and next shaft angle is for coxa vara so remember like this is the head this is the neck and this is the body of a person so the neck is represented by x so it is coxa vara that is the neck shaft angle coming to q angle it is for patella so remember like uh, this is the femur this is the tibia fibula bones and here you'll have this patella right so patella is a short bone if you make a line like this it becomes q so patella bone looks like this and if you make a, long, a line which joins it it becomes q which is the q angle is for patella alignment Coming to kites angle, it is for congenital talipus equinovarus. So C T E V and K I T E. Isn't it similar? T and E is there, T and E is there. K for K, that is C T E V C and K. Like uh, pronunciation is same, K and C. So C T E V is for kites. Uh, kites angle is for C T E V. And here is one uh, not so important angle which is Mary's angle, which is for pescavus. And the other uh, next coming ones are Bowler's angle and Gisanes angle, which are for uh, fracture of calcaneum. So remember, Bowler's angle, it lowers. Bowler lowers, whereas Gisane angle increases in the fracture of the calcaneum. So Bowler's lowers, whereas Gisane I is increases in the calcaneum the similar way alpha and beta angle also so you write alpha like this and beta this way right so beta has something to uh, make an increased symbol out of it so beta angle is increased in ddh whereas alpha angle is decreased in dth so all the important points how to remember them i have explained now let us uh, try to uh, identify how these angles look like in x-rays or in any images if they ask you in the questions Firstly, the image one is about the carrying angle, guys. So carrying angle uh, is an angle which is formed by joining the two axes. So one axis, this uh, first, this axis, let me label it in yellow for you since the background is in black. So yeah, this axis is through the humerus, a line drawn through the humeral axis and this axis is the forearm axis. That is radius and ulna bone, which are present in the forearm. The axis, the, these both axes join together. Like the intersection angle is called as carrying angle. Usually the carrying angle is 5 to 15 degrees. If it is decreased, so see it here guys. When this is the humerus angle and this is the angle of forearm. Now this is the humerus angle. One second. So this is the humerus angle and this is the angle of forearm so here it is 5 to 15 degrees and coming to cubitus valgus the angle will be increased if this is the humerus angle and look at here the angle is increasing right you can make it out here the angle is so narrow compared to this 
So when you compare these three, the middle one is normal, which is 5 to 15 degrees. Cubitus varus is decreased and valgus is increased. If you uh, count this uh, spelling or uh, like number of letters, varus has only five letters, whereas valgus has six letters, right? So if the angle is increased, six letter word increased, then it, that is valgus. If the angle is decreased, it is called as varus. So first image which explains the carrying angle C for C that is cubitus is done. Now coming to CO that is uh, corpse angle is for scoliosis. So look at this guys. This is the spine of a person uh, who is suffering from scoliosis. So here you have one vertebra uh, which is called as end vertebra. So this is the important terminology. So these are called as the end vertebra. When you join uh, the lines uh, from the inferior border of this uh, uh, inferior border of uh, upper end vertebra and the superior border of lower end vertebra like see this is the inferior and this is the superior for this vertebra right so this is inferior for this vertebra and this is superior for this vertebra so when you join these lines and you draw the perpendiculars from these lines so let me label perpendicular with another color so if you draw this perpendiculars from these lines then these two perpendiculars make an angle that is called as cops angle you are understanding right so the perpendiculars which are drawn from the two axes from the end vertebra is called as cops angle usually the cops angle is uh, uh, if, if it is less than 10 degrees it is called as uh, spinal asymmetry and when it is greater than 10 degrees it is called as diagnostic of scoliosis if it is less than 10 degrees it is just spinal asymmetry this completes the cops angle now come A, B, C, D, that is alpha, beta, which is for D, D, H, right? So this is the alpha angle, beta angle. If they show you an ultrasound image which with the labeling of femoral head, so mostly they are asking you about this alpha and beta which are seen in uh, D, D, H, developmental dysplasia of hip. As already discussed, alpha angle decreases whereas beta angle increases in D, D, H. Normally, Alpha angle is greater than 60 degrees, whereas beta angle is less than 77 degrees. So in DDH, beta angle will be greater than 77 degrees, whereas alpha angle will be still further less than 60 degrees. So that is about DDH, which is alpha beta angle. So here uh, there are few labelings, which is iliac wing and uh, this is the bony acetabular line. So these uh, like minute details you don't need to get into. You just learn that alpha and beta are for DDH. Now coming to the next diagram uh, which is showing us the femoral neck shaft angle. So look at this, uh, this region is the neck part right. So this is the neck and this is the axis of the femur. So the angle uh, between the femoral neck and shaft is called as femoral neck shaft angle which is for uh, determining coxa vara. So normally it is 120 to 135. When it is less than 120 so varus has uh, as already told varus has less number of letters so it is less than 120 whereas valgus has more number of letters like 6 so it is greater than 135 Sim similar to varus and valgus anywhere are similar varus is less than angulation and valgus is greater than angulation so that completes the coxa and the cubitus varus valgus cops angle alpha beta now this angle can you identify this angle guys so what is this angle which is representing something at the level of calcaneum, at the level of foot. So that angle here is Bowler's angle for you. So Bowler's angle is the angle which is formed by joining the tangent, right? A tangent is drawn from the posterior facet and the tangent is drawn from the anterior facet. So that forms the Bowler's angle which is decreased in calcaneal fracture. Whereas Gisane's angle is increased in the calcaneal fracture so these two are the images which uh, describes the bowler's angle and the gisanes angle now coming to this uh, diagram what is this so this is the kites angle guys so kites angle is formed by the long axis of the thallus with the long axis of the calcaneum that forms the kites angle which is seen in c t e and v so you are getting it right kite is ctev so this completes the mnemonic parts as well as the angles that you need to know in very short uh, manner so don't stress about this topic too much uh, mostly they'll ask you the superficial questions from this topic 
as already told the pdf will be provided in my telegram channel you can check the description below the video for uh, many uh, such playlists which have uh, simplified videos from uh, many different topics which uh, usually the aspirants request for thank you please do like share and subscribe to the channel and support me by sharing the videos among your friends so that it will help them too and it also helps my channel to grow bye